The humanitarian situation in the northeastern region has been steadily worsening as residents flee for their lives. Peter Fabian says he and more than 30 others fled their village in the mountains of Goza into neighboring Cameroon. After more than a month living on the streets in Cameroon, they trekked for two days to the Cameroon border and back into Nigeria. After the, the Boko Haram had pursued the soldier out from our, 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 our local government, that's, we are here then, the Boko Haram still go there and pursue us back to this place again. Then we fly to, to Cameroon. We stay about uh, one month there without, uh, without nothing to do. And those we, have, we, we have even lost our brothers and sisters there. Local hunters and vigilante groups have been helping the Nigerian military to advance into towns controlled by Boko Haram. The Nigerian military has repeatedly claimed it's winning the war against the Islamic militants. A few days ago, it claimed it had recaptured the town of Mubi. But a roadside bomb went off there in the early hours of Thursday, killing five soldiers. Boko Haram continues to regularly capture territory in a bid to bolster its self-proclaimed Islamic caliphate. Mahia Mutua, CCTV.